Chula Vista is joining the push to reach net zero carbon emissions. The city is holding the first ever zero emission truck showcase right now. CBS 8's Regina Urita is in the South Bay showing us the groundbreaking new technology. Well, we're just a few miles from the Otay Mesa port of entry alone. It sees more than 1 million trucks cross the border. We're talking $40 million of annual income for the economy, which is a great deal. The only problem is that nearby communities have been known to be affected by these uh, traditional combustion trucks. So this event is showing the future of California if we decarbonize the transportation sector. The need right now is greatest given where we are in just climate change. I think we see it. We experience it every day. On the other hand, we've also started to figure out that asthma rates and our like health outcomes, especially in communities of color and poorer communities, have been adversely affected by breathing in diesel. So the California Air Resource Board and Cal Start hosted the first ever zero emission truck event. They had several zero emission vehicles that run on battery, others on hydrogen, and people have been getting the chance to ride and test drive some of these trucks. Now, while some of the zero emission trucks are already on the road, the attention to have truck workers switch to these types of vehicles come from the change in policy that Governor Newsom signed recently. The policy prohibits large trucks and buses made before 2010 to operate in California roadways starting next year. The rule applies to diesel vehicles that weigh at least 14,000 pounds. It's also following the California Air Resources Board regulation that aims to achieve a 100% zero emission truck and bus fleet in California by 2045. The new regulations are looking to protect some of the state's most vulnerable communities that sit near trucking corridors and warehouse locations that have some of the worst air in the nation. And those are areas that include southeastern San Diego and South County who have suffered with higher asthma rates compared to other cities. Now there is concern that truckers cannot afford to get rid of their current traditional combustion trucks. Some have argued that zero emission trucks are expensive. It's why the event also had opportunities to listen in on grant options for zero emission heavy duty vehicles. They also have a number of presentations to talk about the change in policies. Now back here live, another concern is coming from truckers on both sides of the border. They're worried about implementing an all zero emissions truck inventory since they say uh, Mexico doesn't have the advanced technology that California is looking into. Uh, they don't have enough charging stations. So uh, that's something that local leaders and Mexican officials are looking into. For now, this event continues and it will continue until 4.30 p.m. if you are interested in test driving some of those zero emission vehicles. In Chula Vista, Virginia Rita, CBS 8.